Hey everyone, I'm Amina, and welcome to my vlog. And that is a welcome for both my explorers and any visitor who happens by. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, and uh, or those who didn't actually watch the trailer on the front of my um, channel, <laughs> yes, I am transgender. Um, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, now that's out of the way. As long as we're talking about this, I'm going to, uh, mention something that recently occurred. Um, apparently, I was, apparently, somebody didn't quite believe me when I told them that I knew I was a girl, but I didn't know how to say it at the age of four. I probably knew earlier, but I can't remember that, because usually after a certain point in a person's childhood, those memories wind up being buried with other memories being built. But they felt like, uh, oh, you couldn't have known. Uh, yeah, how could I say how I was or what I was if the parents or those around me at the time were treating me like every other little boy. That means no girl toys, no girl anything, especially in a household full of boys. Um, trust me, uh, I would have rather had my own room. <laughs> but never mind that. So throughout my childhood, from at least age four all the way up, I actually spent times secretly playing with those things because I was aware of society around me. Oh, little boys don't play with this. Little boys don't play with that. Only girls do. And here I'm thinking, but I am a girl. And, but being placed in the boys line or so on and so forth, I had to put myself through the forced passing or something I wasn't. And yes, that is a thing. Forced passing. Forced to be a gender I wasn't. Well, you can't get around the sex. But, the one thing I can tell you is gender is something that isn't uh, written in stone. Simply because, well, gender is in the head. It's how you see yourself, how you view yourself. And no matter how many people say, oh, you couldn't have known at that age. Well, one, if you're not given the resources, at an early age, how would you know? All you can go by is by what you're being told. And, gee, I wonder why so many trans girls back in my time were like, is there something wrong with me because I feel this way? And society as a whole forced that on people like me. But, oh, 
while ago, Caitlyn Jenner did her thing after her transition. I don't really... I don't really agree with her on her views. However, I will say this. The fact that she made sure that it was so public as for her transition and for people saying that she was brave for doing it, I hate to say it, but you have to be brave in order to be yourself these days because people will force you into a role you don't even like, don't even feel like. It takes bravery to stay true to yourself because everybody else is like, oh, this is you. Don't change. Don't you dare change. Or you're Never mind, I, I think you can kind of guess where that line of thought goes. Sorry, uh, I don't subscribe to that. No. So, uh, yeah. Being true to yourself has got to be one of the hardest things that one can do right now. Especially in this climate. You know, and it doesn't take a genius to figure out that, um, I think we got the wrong person in office. That's all I'm going to say at that one. <laughs> but, biggest thing, don't say that a kid at the age of four can't know what gender they are. I'm sorry. I have to ask this. How did you know you were straight? Or how did you know you were this or that? You just know. And of course, if you're being taught stuff, if you don't know what it means to be a certain thing or how to put it into words, how are you going to say, uh, I'm this? Because, uh, one, you only have that kind of resource. That's not provided. So it's our responsibility to let our children know that there are more than two genders. Yeah. So, uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is, uh, I've seen a lot of comments. Oh, there are only two genders. Get over it. There's this gender. There's, there's only two genders. You know what? This is why I say, okay, so you're saying we're computers. <laughs> That's how ridiculous this is. And there are so many things that contradict that thought process. And computers being binary, and yeah, there's one thing. Computers, believe it or not, are a machine based on the human brain. And the human brain is far more complex complex than a computer. So saying that there's only two of something in a vast spectrum is kind of arrogant. So, uh, yeah, if you actually think about things, you'll realize how much arrogance the human race has as a whole. <laughs> but I'm done going on that little <laughs> talking spree because I want to talk about something other than that. Okay, on to the next random thought. <laughs> and yes, 
it's about games, of course. And um, for me, playing games, whether they be um, whether they be building games, which tend to be a little bit more common for me, or when I'm really upset, then I might be doing a little bit more of the violent type of games. Though I do tend to do really well with platformers. And something that I used to do a lot for the ColecoVision, which is one of the old the old old consoles. I don't think there's one available nowadays. <laughs> But, when it comes to Minecraft, yes, that's, that is a permanent thing. That is one of my um, things that I'm going to keep making videos on. And, that being said, yes, there will be modded ones. And, um, with the vanilla survival um in order to get a bearing for where i want to go like the ocean i'm going to be using a little program called a mist and i will actually be um mentioning it in one of the future minecraft videos because um you can go north, east, west, south, and um, depending on which position, which direction you take, you might not come across a Minecraft ocean for a long time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, there's that. Which brings me to another thing. Um... When it comes to series as a whole, I think I will be doing the Cat Room series separately from Minecraft, simply because I can't really, it's, it's one of those things where too many things have, there are too many differences. Whereas, exploring the multiverse is more about games. Um, IMBU, Second Life, and um, VR Chat nowadays, they are all more chat rooms. Yes, you can do a lot more in Second Life, but IMBU and VR Chat are well VR chat is also kind of on par with Second Life. Only difference is you can use VR equipment to actually uh well I'll let you figure that out. IMVU is still more of a 3D 2D thing. So it's gonna be what it is. <laughs> and any series that comes off of uh, um, exploring the multiverse first will be a limited series. In other words, there will be an end to it. Minecraft, no, there won't be an end. Uh, I would kind of like to keep Second Life going, so that won't come to an end either. But right now it's on hiatus because, well, I need a beefier computer. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Deep World, although I do like the game, is definitely going to be one of those ones that I might come back to every so often after its second season. 
And the only reason I cut it short is because of the, um, yeah, what happened last time. And I kind of had to wrap it up in a hurry. But instead of focusing on the quest line, I'm going to, the, the quest line seems to be a bit grindy. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'll be focusing on the building aspect of it. But, in order to do that, uh, I not only need a premium account, which I did get, but I also need to purchase a world. But at least I have my own resources, nobody's taking them from me, so that's good. And um, I can still explore the other worlds. <laughs> Though, I wonder if a person can actually be farming in their worlds? Eh, I don't know. But, there are a number of random games that I actually do own. Because I couldn't own them before. Exploring the Multiverse was about um, exploring the free-to-play games. Now I don't have to worry about that so much. Those games that were games that got paid for, that I did show on my channel, at the time, they were gifts. So, I felt like I could get away with it. <laughs> um, there, and the only other time I feel like I can kind of get away with that, is if it's in a free weekend. Oh. That being said, and as long as we're on the subject of exploring the multiverse, Hunger Dungeon is coming, is going to be uploaded this Wednesday. It is the next, um, ah. I hear a cat. I hear a cat. <laughs> Three, two, one. As long as we are on the subject of exploring the multiverse, the next episode will be of Hunger Dungeon. At least that's the world we will be exploring. I do I kind of do a little bit of a role play Endermen are doing stuff uh, because we don't actually see them and that explains why things get built when I'm not on camera yeah that that's it <laughs> but I'm thinking yeah, I'm really seriously thinking about doing a behind the scenes thing where I actually record what I'm doing offline or actually not offline, off camera, only it will be on camera. It's confusing. So I'm just going to say that I'll probably do a behind the scenes thing in regards to exploring the multiverse. I don't plan on doing that for any other series I might be doing. Speaking of which, 
Um, one of the things when I was first starting um, to play around with Minecraft, I would try to make little golems. After all, I made golems in Second Life. <laughs> and yeah, um, one of the random things, I was AFK for a while, away from the keys, and when I come back, I found myself buried. I managed to dig myself out, and I'm like, I see a sign. Here lies Lady Amina. Um, no. Here lies the Golem Lady, Lady Amina. <laughs> because at the time, I was still. At the time, my account for Minecraft was Lady Amina. But. Uh, so many other things going on. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I want to do is play with some mods that give me the ability to actually make golems. <laughs> so, uh, that would be, uh, let's see, utility mobs. Um, and... Golem world, I think. I'll have to take a look. But one of the biggest things I like having pets, I like farming. So maybe I can do something like a, um, a world craft or maybe bloom craft because everything's growing. <laughs> but either way, I think. I've come to the end of my thoughts for this week, so I'm going to leave you with this. If you have been enjoying my content, please feel free to leave a like and or subscribe, or you can leave a comment down below in the comment section. And as always, be true to you. Amina, signing out. Tell me like a hell cut.